Hello, my name is Rich Malava, and uh, this is part two of the cutting a cylinder using Booleans uh, video. We're going to finish up the object by creating the bottom section of the object that you see here. We're going to start from where we left off in the last video and unhide the master group. We'll make another copy of it, rehide the master group, ungroup the copy, and then select this, the pipe and the cutting surface and do a Boolean difference and uh, in this case we get the wrong half so we'll do uh, reverse normals on the cutting surface and then repeat the boolean difference operation and now we get the bottom half of the cylinder and it fits perfectly with the top we can just delete all of that we don't need it anymore now we just repeat what we did in the top section by deleting the top cap faces which will leave a bunch of floating vertices that we have to get rid of. You'll always forget this the first couple times you do it, but you'll realize it when you try to bridge and you can't bridge between the two inner and outer faces because of all of those floating vertices. Oops, I deleted an extra face. Delete all those bottom cap faces. Go to vertex selection mode. Select all the vertices, delete them. And it will just delete the floating ones. Nope. Now we're left with 60 faces again on the inner and outer surfaces. Do a bridge. Do a bridge. This time all the edges lined up so we didn't have to do fiddle with bridge offset. Now we just have to tighten up the edges. Double clicking those edges at a two segment bevel. Remember we did 0.2 on the offset for the upper piece so we'll do the same thing here. And there we go. Now all that's left is we have once again have these uh, very long slender faces. So we're going to add some support loops, but we'll bring back the original. Now you see how nicely it fits, and you get that nice part line between the two parts. We have these big, long vertical faces here. So once again, with the insert loop tool, insert multiple loops set to two. We'll add two evenly spaced edges on the front, on the inside, outside, and on the cap edges. And now you get a very clean fit between the two parts. Now I just do some housekeeping here. I'm going to go and uh, create a group called Cylinder or Sill and uh, take the top surface and call it sill top and the bottom surface and call it sill bottom put it inside of that cylinder group now we have the master object group so we can still play with it if we want to we still have all our profile curves We'll do a final render here. There it is. Nice clean render, perfectly fitting upper and lower section of the pipe. Do another render, pull it apart a little bit. And there you have it. How to Boolean a cylinder using cutting planes. And I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for watching.